The Content Schedule tool allows you to schedule your content to play at specific times of the day, week, or month. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you different ways that you can set up a content schedule for your content items. There are two ways that you can access the Content Scheduling tool. The first way is to select the Schedule option while on the Describe window. This is the last window you will see before you can save a newly created content item. The second way that you can access the content scheduling tool is to select the content item that you would like to edit within your content library. And then using the Actions drop-down menu, choose the Update Content Schedule option. Now that we've located the tool, let's schedule some content. For our first example, let's look at the most basic form of the content schedule. I have a piece of content that I would like to play on my display for one month from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. and I want it to only play on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. To get started, click on the Sometimes option. First, we will need to set the desired date range, starting from today's date until one month from now. After that, we will need to set the time frame that we want our content to play. To do that, We'll deselect the All Day option and then set our start time to 9 a.m. and our end time to 11 a.m. Next, we will deselect the All Week option and select Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. For this particular example, the Months option isn't applicable because our date range is only over a period of one month. This option can be useful if you have a specific content item that you want to play back for only specific months of the year. You will notice that once all of our scheduling options are set, you will see a detailed playback summary at the bottom of the window. When published, this content will play from December 8, 2016 until January 8, 2017 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take a look at something a little more advanced, repeat schedules. Using repeat schedules, users can publish content on a recurring basis. For content items such as bi-weekly menus or alternating daily promotions, this advanced schedule option allows playlist managers the freedom to set up complex schedules in advance. Let's look at three quick examples of how the repeat schedule option can work for you. First, let's look at how we can schedule a content item to play all day, every other day. Let's set our date range for one month and our time frame to play all day. Now all we need to do is set up the repeat schedule. To do this, select the daily option and then set the days option to two. We can now see in our playback summary that when published, this content will play from December 8, 2016 until January 8, 2017, every two days, all day. Now, what if you wanted to schedule an item to play every second week on weekdays from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m.? For this example, let's set our date range for one year and our time frame to play from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Let's select the specific days of the week that we want our content to play. Now we're ready to set up our repeat schedule. To do this, select Weekly from the drop-down menu and then set the Weeks option to 2. We can now see in our playback summary that when published, this content will play from December 8, 2016 until December 8, 2017, every two weeks on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Lastly, let's look at how we can schedule an item to play every second month on just the weekends. For this example, let's set our date range for two years. Let's set our time for all day. And let's select only Saturday and Sunday. Now let's select the repeat monthly option and set the number of months to two. We can now see in our playback summary that when published, this content will play from December 8th, 2016 until December 8th, 2018, every two months 
on Sundays and Saturdays, all day. To learn more about creating or publishing content or to view other Screenscape how-to videos, please check out our customer support YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Screenscape support or find us on the web at support.screenscape.com.